Hey, and welcome to another episode of Hobblebonks and Kundagungans. Today, we have a very exciting guest. It's a bad problem. Hobblebonks and Kundagungans. I've caught you off guard, haven't I? We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to find the last problem. Trying to grow up. Yeah, I thought so. So Luke is a very good friend of ours. Would you call yourself a frog expert? No. Why is that? Because I don't know much about frogs. Where'd you put the Um, it's just in the door. We've just reached this awesome section here to the top of the waterfall and there's a beautiful carpet python, Moralia spilolta. Let's get up close. It's huge. It's going all the way down there. Beautiful and like local carpet python. Let's see if I can get a better view of this carpet python without falling down this. There it is. What a beauty. All right, so we've been walking down through these creeks that all look absolutely beautiful. We've gone through a few sketchy waterfalls and climbed down those. How are you going, Luke? How's your first frogging adventure? Uh, I got a wet butt. You got to let's see it. Oh. So we expect in these kind of streams, in these rainforest streams, to find Latoria piersoniana, maybe Latoria wilcoxi, Mixifies fasciolatus. This is also one of the areas where historically Tardactylus dianus, the southern day frog, used to live and went extinct. And some of these frogs that we're looking for started showing massive signs of declines, um, but they've obviously bounced back. It's just such beautiful habitat through here. And it's like relatively secluded as well. You have to, it's not accessible for the general public. here at uh, some unnamed creek. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only location for the uh, Athlorius spiny crayfish. Yeah, so you can see his little claw here. They are um, very variable in the color, so they're not always blue. Um, these, this is this guy's hole. They're primarily nocturnal, so they might come out at night. So they're critically endangered? Critically endangered Athlorius spiny crayfish. Uh, Eustus, Eusticus, <laughs> oh. Eusticus Glorious CI. <laughs> Now there's a nice adult cascade tree frog, the uh, Latoria piersoniana. Sitting here, I'm going to try and get some good footage without it hopping away, which is always hard. So this is actually a vulnerable species um, and during the time that the chytrid fungus came through that wiped out the day frog that was in this area, their populations de like plummeted massively during the chytrid fungus outbreak, um, which is just a fungus that decimates populations of, of frogs um, all around the world. Um, and because they, because frogs cutaneously respirate, because they breathe through their skin, they're really susceptible to these pathogens. And unfortunately, chytrid fungus has done like, incredible damage to frog populations all around the world. It's have caused countless extinctions. I'm pretty sure of the three or four extinctions that we've had in Australia, they've all been attributed largely to chytrid, to bait trachochytrium dendrobatitis, or whatever it's called. Yeah, frog populations just started disappearing and then 
you know, it wasn't until years later we realized why. And then by that point, it's too late. Come across this little Victoria Forest. Yeah, it's amazing. I love that spotty coloration on the back. Real lovely. Better than the ones in one of the other episodes we've done. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Luke? Beautiful. Glorious. somewhere under all this leaf litter here. marsupial frogs falling all up this gully as soon as we get close to them they just stop if we keep them going like this it's going to be a nightmare but these marsupial frogs are pretty cool because they um they actually have pouches where they keep their tadpoles so once the tadpoles hatch um they then sort of wriggle into the pouches of uh of the map which is pretty awesome it's pretty weird frog so hopefully we find it but um they're about this big um, and they live under the leaf litter in these rocky surfaces. There's one that's continuously cooling right up there, so we can go across to it. Got one! Ready for this? Here we go. Acid Ellington. Pouch frog. I see a peel frog. Good job, Daniel. No, it was Luke. Oh, Luke. Luke. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> I got us halfway there. Absolutely blends in. See how small this guy is. Ah, there he goes. Tick it off, man. Wait, which way is it ticked? I don't know. <laughs> What's the scientific name for marsupial frog again? Acidophilus. <laughs> Jesus. What was it? <laughs> acid darling tonight. Oh my god, acid darling. We're looking for an acid darling tonight frog <laughs> with, the, with the pouch that holds the young. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very cultured frog. Um, 